Let's take another look at the sequences we were considering in the last video. We started with this one, 2, 5, 8, 11, and keeps going like that. And we had said that we were going to call the first term a0, then a1, then a2, a3. And we came up with a recursive definition, a way that we could generate the next term given that we had this. And that's great. If I just wanted to know the next one would be 14, then 17, then 20, that's great. But what if I want to know what is a111? I don't know about you, but I personally don't want to go through every single term in between to figure out what that 111th one was. That would be a whole lot of writing, a whole lot of pointless kind of going through. So instead of having this thing where we given one term find the next, overall it's actually going to be more useful if we can find a formula where I can just plug in what is that index, plug in the number of the term, and then use that and calculate what the actual value is. In this case it's pretty easy because since we're adding 3 each time, the index actually says how many total times I've added 3. For a1, I've ended up adding 3 once. To get to the next one, a2, I add 3 again, so I've added 3 a total of twice. To get to the 11, I add a third 3, so Again, I've added three threes in total. So that means that, in this case, my formula is pretty simple. My a sub n, my nth term, I'm starting with that 2. And since the index n is how many times I add 3, I can just say 3n. So, if I want to figure out now what is the sixth term, a sub 6 is 2 plus 3 times 6, that's 2 plus 18, is 20. The fourth one is 14, the fifth one is 17, the sixth one is 20. And so back up to here, if I want to know my 111th term, that's 2 plus 3 times 111, 2 plus 333 is 235. Nice and easy. The next example we did before works pretty much the same thing. This time, rather than adding, I'm multiplying. But again, if I call this A0, A1, A2, a3, the subscript is how many times I've multiplied by 2. I've multiplied by 2 once to get there, twice to get there, three times to get there. So we can say my nth term, a sub n, is the starting value 3 times 2 we're multiplying by 2 n times, so that's 2 to the nth power. Now this one gets big really quickly, but if I wanted to know what, for example, a sub 6 is, I'd have 3 times 2 to the 6th, that's 3 times 64, would be 192. We did one more example, and this one's significantly harder to see. It makes sense, it was harder to do with the recursive thing as well. But how do we get this? Well, sometimes you just kind of have to play around with stuff until you see it. There are some other tricks that I'm not going to go into that would actually help here, but if you remember, when we were looking at this, 
we saw that it went up by 2, went up by 4, went up by 6, went up by 8. If I take that kind of down another level, and we sort of didn't write it out this way, but we thought about it, this goes up by 2, this goes up by 2, this goes up by 2. If you can kind of do that process, take the differences, take the differences of the differences, and if you can get it down to where you eventually get a constant that every difference of differences thing is the same number, the number of levels tells you kind of the power of n that you need. So here, since I went down two levels before I got to a constant, this has something to do with n squared. And starting with that, it doesn't take a whole lot to realize that a sub n is n squared minus n. Let's just check that for these terms. We get a sub 0 is 0 squared minus 0. Okay, I got to be correct myself a little bit here. For this formula to work, I have to start from a1 rather than a0. We could modify the formula a little bit, it's just harder to get that formula. So this is actually a1 is 1 squared minus 1 gives me 0. The next one, a2, 2 squared minus 2, 4 minus 2 is 2. a3, 3 squared minus 3, 9 minus 3 is 6, and so on. In general, it can be hard to find what the formula is. It can be hard to figure these things out. But once we have that formula, there's important things we can do with it. And we'll be talking about that in the next video.